Thanks for checking in with us today. I wanted to take a minute to share uh, Kawhi pianos and uh, the action. I think when we think of the beautiful cabinets, the beautiful playing, the beautiful piano, we don't necessarily know what's on the inside. And I thought for a few minutes I would share what the inside of a Kawhi piano looks like and the, and the technolo technological advances that they have, um, they are the innovators, they are, they are the, the movers and shakers in the piano world in building the better piano from the inside out. And I wanna just, I wanna take a minute and show you this stuff. This is the Kawhi GL50. Um, and I'm gonna share a few things with you. K Kawhi stands for Koichi Kawhi. He was the founder of the company in 1927, founded the brand, and uh, and has been building his son Shigeru, who's deceased now, and, 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 and his son Hirotaka. They are all, um, it's a family-run Japanese piano company from 1927, so you can't get a more, um, a, a truer family-built instrument anywhere. Uh, there, there, are other, there are other small piano companies that do a great job, but Kawhi, um, over, almost 100 years now has been doing this in the same family with the same factory. Um, so here we are, the Ko uh, Koichi Kawai, the, Ko the Kawai, this is the GL30. Uh, so this is a five and a half foot uh, baby grand piano and I'm going to share a few parts with you and hopefully this is interesting to you. Um, this is called the fallboard. The fallboard closes slowly and as you can see, this is a new innovation to stop the, uh, the slam, which most of the pianos up until about 20 years ago had. So you'd pull this fallboard down and it literally could break a finger or it could or it could hurt you or scare you if you're a child. But it is, it is nice that we have hydraulics now built in each side uh, of the piano. So it stops that from, from hurting your, your hands or making that loud bang or damaging the piano. So I'm gonna lift this off and I wanna show you how easy this is to lift off. Um, in here, you can see the hydraulics. There's one on each side and that matches up to a hinge on the inside of the piano that's made of brass, so there's no noise, no, no, no sounds, it's just smooth and hydraulic. So I'm gonna set this down, it's kinda heavy. All right, so think of if we're, un if we're in the under the hood of your car, we're, we're looking at the engine. You may not know exactly what's under there, but you know it works, this is exactly that. I'm not using any tools, everything's done by hand, so I'm gonna take out a, uh, a bolt or a screw that's in here, and uh, copy, copyright, we won't, we won't say it, but what does that look like? Just to, for, anyway, you can, you can figure that out. Um, here is the cheek block. And the cheek block, there's one on each side. I'm gonna set that there. I'm gonna set this here. So there's two of these. As you can see, they're, they're solid wood, solid wood construction. I believe that's mahogany, African mahogany that they use to build the case parts. We have an ebony, a polyester top. And these work together with these little guides to keep the action straight. So, the, so it can't move uh, back and forth. It can move side to side, and this little track helps it move side to side, which I'll explain in a little bit. But this little track is built in there to keep the action stable. The action, what I'm referring to, is the keyboard. So I'm gonna set these on the ground. Um, one of the things that Kawhi has innovated is the key slip rail. The key slip rail on this piano, and if you look at all, uh, all other brands of pianos, is a very thin, long piece of wood. This just pulls right out. You can see, pulls out very easily. But I wanna show you something before I, before I tell you more about the key slip. One of the biggest reasons that keys stick on an on acoustic piano is because this little piece of wood warps. Temperature in Tennessee or wherever you live, it, when the humidity swells, it, it, it bends. So watch this, if I bend this in and I hold this key down, look, it holds that key in place. That's a problem. That's a problem on, on, on lots of different brands of pianos. But on Kawhi, they did this extra step, which they added this metal action, this metal bracket here. And what that does is it stops this thin piece of wood from warping inward. It can't affect the way your piano plays. It's not gonna let the key stick which is what I said the most common reason that keys stick, besides people dropping things in it or other reasons. But now, when you play, no keys stick. If you go all the way down, no, 
no key stick at all. So that's a nice little added feature that it, it was just simple. It was so simple to make this piece of metal and now it's it's standard on all Kawhi pianos. So ask your, ask your uh, local dealership, hopefully Lane Music, to show you that when you come in. Uh, <clears throat> all right, now we're to the action. As you can see, uh, piano's kind of bare here now. We have uh, all 88 keys, they're all attached, but this one big piece is gonna pull out, so don't panic. Uh, I've done this before, I am a professional, and please don't try this at home. Please let your piano technician do this. Uh, don't, don't just do this for fun. Uh, when we pull this out, you're gonna see why your piano, one, is expensive, but two, why it's hand-built. There's no machines that can do this. So you pull it out, and here it is. This is the grand piano action. Um, smaller grands, it's going to be it's going to be um, more compact, and larger grands, it's going to be it's going to be longer. Uh, the hammers here are are larger on here, and they graduate down to the tiniest hammer here. As you can see, this is your bass note hammer. This is your treble note hammer. This is the highest. So all in between, the largest and the smallest uh, are what makes the notes, um, and it is. They are very dense. If you feel this, you think, oh, it's gonna be soft like a, like a mallet or, or something. Uh, it's very, very dense. The amount of wool that's compacted into that, into that hammer is, is remarkable that they can do that. So this is, what, this is the point that strikes the, the string right here. The only part of the hammer that strikes the string is right there. All the rest of the hammer is there to impact the blow of that. Um, as you can see, it's just perfect. When you look at this, it's it's remarkable that with all these hand cut, moving, working parts, hand assembled, that it looks this accurate. And that's a testament to the Japanese. They just build a beautiful piano. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple more things about this, which I'm always amazed by. I'm going to tip this up. When I tip this up, you can see underneath here, and this is something that we forget to show in the stores. We forget to show these things to customers and hopefully you'll take a minute and watch the video. But this is unbelievable. All the wood in here is solid. There's no laminates, there's no plywoods. Also, I'm running my hand across sanded wood and if any of you ever would done any woodworking, you'd, I'd be getting splinters like crazy and there's none. It is it is so accurate. It's 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 precise milled. It's it's and it's, you know, um, a hand a hand built instrument. I uh, said that many times, but uh, th th it's it's remarkable. So in the action, it's filled with lots of parts, but one of the parts that Kawhi really build their com builds their company's reputation on is this carbon fiber. This part here. This is called the Millennium Three Action. It's had many evolutions as it's as it's gotten better and better and more refined. But this action part here, which is this black part here, is made of carbon fiber. It is so accurate. It is is, is machine made, but it is much more uh, resistant to temperature swells, resistant to uh, warping. It is it is perfect. It does not have. They build guitars out of carbon fiber. They build, NASA uses carbon fiber. This is, a, this is a product that is so accurate that when you're building a grand piano, why not use it? Because it makes it more efficient. The energy that you are using from your fingers to play the hammer, you, you want that to transmit through the, through the key, through the whippin, which um, uh, you probably won't go, this is called the whippin right here, through the whippin to the hammer, and then to the string. So you want that to go as smoothly without less friction as possible, and that's what that's what Millennium 3 offers. Millennium 3 is has uh, other manufacturers will tell you that it's it's done to be less expensive, it's done to be uh, cost cutting measures, it's done, it's I would debunk all of that. It's not that at all. It is absolutely the best product for the action assembly for, for, for quick repetition, for the beautiful feel of a Kawhi. And if you've ever played a Kawhi, please come by Lane Music and play a Kawhi piano and feel what I'm talking, and feel the action to, to really, the proof in the, in, in the pudding. Come and play the piano and see why it's better. Um, all these parts are assembled by hand and put into this piano. And you can see, as, as lightly as I touch the keys, look, look, at, look how it moves. Look how that hammer, if I just barely touch, if you can see this one on the very end, if I just barely touch that hammer, you want that hammer to move. 
you want it to move because that's a perfectly regulated piano and that's what you get with it with a Kawhi piano. Um, and I could go on and on and on and on, but I just thought this is something that you never see. Uh, you just see the beautiful piano, you don't realize what's, what's all involved in building this. So this big apparatus is called the action. And when I push, when I, when I move this action, I'm being very careful. It's resting on my, on my leg here. But when I push it back in, there's a huge spring. And I don't know if you can get that in the shot here, but over here on the side of the piano, there's a huge spring. And that spring helps keep it taut inside the, the cavity here. So as I push it back, I'm not touching a hammer. I'm not touching a, a key to make the hammer go up. I'm leaving it flat and then I push it back in. Just a little shove and check this out. Perfect, piano plays perfectly. So th that, that attention to detail and that the accuracy of the build is 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 unbelievable and if you if you've ever worked or messed or, or spent any time on other brands of pianos you'll know that that's unbelievable that it goes back in that easy and plays perfectly once i put the parts back on it's ready for it's it's ready for prime time so uh, the the parts of the piano there are thousands of them uh but they're all built into the one action piece and we use and that's what you that what that's usually what makes you love your piano. Piano grand piano sound good. It's hard to say, some sound better than others, but the action, the feel, the touch is really for the player. That's really the, the that's really what. If you're a guitar player, you love the action. If you're a violin player, you love the action. If you're any musical instrument, you love the way your instrument feels, and the better they are, the better they feel. And that's that's a testament to Kawhi as well. So, I would encourage you guys to come to Lane Music. Uh, 1625 Galleria Boulevard. Uh, click the links and, uh, and, and check us here at the store. We have lots of great Kawhi pianos to show you. We have other brands of pianos too, but Kawhi is, we've been a Kawhi dealer since 1987. We won the dealer of the year in 2017 as the largest Kawhi dealer in the country. And uh, we occupy the whole state of Tennessee. And we would love for you to come and see Kawhi and let us, let us give you this demonstration in person no cost, no commitments. Uh, glad to show you. Any of the guys, Todd, um, uh, can can do it for you. I'll be glad to do it for you. Um, we are we are we are here to uh, full transparency. Show you insides of the piano and uh, and come check us out.